Hi, this is Jared from ShoeGnome, and today I want to talk a little bit about um, setting up project templates um, and creating a template file. Specifically, I want to talk about setting up some default views and sheets um, in the view map and the layout book, and then maybe if we have time, we'll talk about the publisher as well. Um, so first off, if you notice, this is my kind of default file, and I do a lot of residential work, so you'll notice um, right away I have four elevations, two sections, and then um, what this is here is the default um, ARCHICAD house model. And I've just dumped that in there, and the reason I've done that is so that when I go through and save all my views, and if you look here in my view map, I've got architectural, electrical, structural views, elevation sections, all this stuff saved, that um, these views have something to look at. So for instance, if we go to the north elevation, open that up, here you can see that house model and so we know the the elevation is actually live and looking at something. Um, of course once I start modeling I'm gonna delete that right away so as just an aside you know once I have some uh, walls you know I'd go ahead and delete that. So, you know, I'd get rid of that, and then if we go to the north elevation, we'd see my walls. Um, but I'm actually going to back up a step. The reason why I have that building in there is we look if, we, if we look over in the info box, we can see it shows on all stories. So no matter what story I go to, I have this dummy placeholder object. Um, anyways, so in my, my default um, file, you know, I've got the main level plan set up, and if we look over at the quick options, it's got scale, structural display, pen sets, um, model view options, uh, renovation filters, all that set up. So if we go to, say, um, structural plan, um, that's all, you know, also set up with, you know, the right um, quick options. So I guess my, this should be um, half tone. My, my template is a little in disarray for certain reasons. But anyways, point being, because um, it's in flux and I'm updating it, but the, the point I'm making here is that all these views are already set up, even though there's no real data, there's just kind of dummy stuff. And the reason why they're all set up is if we now go to the layout book, um, and we jump to, say, the basement plan, here is that basement you know, lower level plan already dumped on a sheet. So pretty much all the important views here that are set up already live on sheets, which means a couple things. Um, the computer is slow today for some reason. You know, those markers all have, you know, all, everything's labeled properly, everything's sitting in sheets. Um, it also means this is a big one I found from doing some work last year. Um, all my schedules that I use, they're all in there. There's no information in there right now because there is no exterior doors, there is no millwork, there's no plumbing. But if we open up the schedule and looked at its um, parameters or its uh, or we open its source view and then go to uh, scheme settings in here it's already selecting, it's looking for all object types on the plumbing fixture level and then it's going to provide that data there. So once there is something that is on the plumbing fixture well, layer, so I'll just show you some example. Um, that and we will find toilet. Let's put that guy in there. Just dump him in there. Now, if we go back to my schedule sheet, you know, this is just killing me why it's so slow today. I must have some background function going on. Um, you know, there is that point picture. The ID is off. The, you know, none of this stuff is inputted. But this this schedule is already populating itself, which means as I get into SD and I'm just doing my work, all this stuff's there. Um, so now, 
Uh, let's see. I'm going to talk about um, the actual, if you look at my sheets here, I, I've broken everything out into different um, drawing types. So there's a plans folder, there's an elevations folder, there's a sections folder. And how that works, um, if we go to settings for that folder, um, this is just the name of the plan or of the folder or the subset, so the technical name. Um, and then assign ID automatically. Um, oh, let me back up. So everything in here is in the architectural um, folder. If I had structural in here, um, I would have that too. I just haven't set that up yet. But if we go to settings, um, here's the name. Um, I don't want this folder to be counted as a number. I'm going to use um, a prefix, and I'm going to add a prefix to a subset. So every drawing or every layout within this tree is going to get this um, A, and the ID style is going to start with zero. So basically, A0 is what's controlling the upper level. So A0, site plan and schedules, A1 plans, A2 elevations. That's all being automatically put in there. If we went ahead and did a new subset, I don't care what its name is. You know, it's automatically shown up there as A6. If I drag it up here, it's now A3. Now, likewise, within each of these subsets, now we go into this this one. Um, we're assigning automatically uh, from the um, upper order, so it gets A1 because it's with an architectural. And then we're saying, okay, continue the prefix and IDs of upper levels. So any drawing within here is going to be, or any layout is going to be A1, and then the um, ID style is this 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. We could change it to, you know, ABC to that, you know, but this works well because maybe I'll, I'll have in the tens, but I'm never going to have 100 plans. Uh, so that's how those numbers are all set up, uh, which means if I add a new sheet here, it's just going to pop in right there and it's not going to mess up uh, you know anything else and so this gets to the point of why I like um, numbering these the way they are where it's you know the 100 series 200 series 300 series is that if you're mucking around and adding elevations or adding plans or adding sections uh, you can kind of add them to your heart's content they don't mess up the numbers of the other subsets um, of course everything's automatic so it doesn't matter if a 43 becomes a 44 because everything's renumbered but I really like the idea of having these all um, this higher level of ordering because if you then say add a details or add reflected ceiling plans or whatever, they just kind of all fall into this uh, upper level hierarchy. And then I'm writing a post over for BIM Engine, which is going to explain a little bit more the value of that hierarchy as well. But it's just very clean, and even for small projects, even for residential, um, I think it's huge value of doing this. I know commercial projects, large projects, this is a no-brainer. We, we do this always, but I think even for a, you know, a five sheet set for a little edition that has you know, one plan, one elevation, two sections, it's, it's good to do this, um, the 100, 200, 300 series of drawings. Um, the last bit I want to, oh, I don't have that set up, so I'm not going to talk about anything else. This is already kind of long. Um, so I hope you found this interesting, and I will hopefully do some more videos coming up about um, templates and some more stuff with the publisher and the layout book. Thanks.